uh, year is, is very simple that there are a lot of students who are enclosed in this panel and also alumni are there practicing physiotherapists are there okay so i'm going to talk something very general so that everybody can understand that language no big jargons and uh, my session is only 30 minutes okay so 30 to 35 minutes is my session is all about i'm going to give you a very small crux about what is the role of physiotherapists in fitness and later after that i'm going to tell you something interesting so we are going to talk about something towards the profession and later i'll be taking few questions so our ma'am in the panel will also our jenny ma'am in the panel will help me for the questions so i'm ready to answer all your questions so down the line and i'm asking you to do few activities be enthusiastic to do it and eventually we will find things are much more better so thank you so much so i'm going to share my screen so let's take out with the session okay ready all right let's go here <laughs> okay hope everybody is able to see me okay if you are able to see, um i mean the screen over there right on the top okay just tell me show me your fingers in your chat box because we are going to interact more on chat box today um so that i can take it forward and do it so i am understanding that okay everybody is there so that we can take it forward and do it okay so if you are can see my uh post oh, so this is my usually my first slide which always be there uh when i do any of a workshop and your future is what you created today and not tomorrow okay so whatever you have to do to do it right now at that particular moment so that's what what it already means importantly yes um i'm representing synergy physio care and rehab center of few are really following us in a very closely in instagram as well as on the facebook and here we are going to take it little bit more deeper i'm going to tell you what synergy is all about and uh, whom you are going to learn what okay that's what what we are going to learn for the day right so about us synergy physio can rehab center is based on chennai we are seven year old organization which started with the one man team of franklin okay two times we have been awarded as the best physiotherapy clinic by the peak magazine and we are getting various awards recent days uh, to best time uh, physiotherapy clinic here in chennai okay till date we have awarded 486 surgeries note 486 surgeries till date we have avoided okay rehabilitating of around 20 to i mean 2700 plus patients when it is going to be a ligament injury or a post surgical cases we are basically muscular skeletal and sports medicine people okay so we don't deal with anything more related to neurology we don't deal with it more towards the cardio but we are basically muscular skeletal and sports injury people and that's what what we are okay a passion of teaching and sharing the knowledge what has brought me started in another college and today we go across the country in order to do the session last time when we did the very small webinar in our learning so which was there also and that is what what we are going to learn there and how are we there how plenty of across the country something very interesting is coming up in our we don't have something very interesting we don't use swd we don't use laser we don't use traction and uh, just for addition we use a very small level we don't use any major big mess how to play for the such mobilization technique of music it's very simple any technique you use or any certificate you have anything you have to learn severe pain at moment you release if you are able to do it that is a lot of value for what you have learned if you are not able to get there what the certificate hanging in your pick so get this one right so it is about learning something it's all about practicing something right so we practice a lot of things we get it into lot yes we have to understand that the techniques should be useful right go yeah this like okay that is all
Your voice is breaking and it is not audible, sir. Hello? Can you hear me, sir? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello, sir. Your voice is breaking. Hello? Okay, can you hear me? Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, I hear you, ma'am. Hello. Sir, no, sir. The voice is not continuous. It is breaking in between. Are you hear me now? Hear me? Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, so we the signal is also Uh, Janine, ma'am, you want me to log out and log in again? Shall we log out, log sir, out and log sir, in now again? Now it is clear, sir. Now it is clear, and now it's clear. Yeah, better. Okay, now it's better. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect, sir. Okay, let me go and share my screen. Okay, you able to see in the screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, good. And sorry for the interruption. Technology always do that's that. Okay, the role of physiotherapy in fitness. Okay, that's what, what we are going to hear for the day. Okay, so very quickly, we are going to go into what is fitness. Okay, and then we are going to take it up. Okay, most of the people, they think that fitness is all about, okay, helping something in the gym or doing it across the training. And that's what the role of physiotherapy is. No, the role of the physiotherapist, especially in the fitness level, is totally different. Okay. See, there is a one dual role which always people play. That is called as a fitness come physiotherapist. Trust me, and the mari were profile Okay, either you are a physiotherapist or a fitness trainer. Okay, so physiotherapist come fitness trainer. Valley lama poy valley ki join mane to. Ama fitness trainer da erkaan da da artha meta vara. Ama nijima le ondu physiotherapist or fitness trainer da ama identify pani gino. 
right? But the role is much more different, okay? Completely different of the role. And that's what, what we are going to learn for the day. Right, go. Okay, so the next one is, okay, yeah. This is a very small definition which we have derived, okay? When we came into a conclusion called what is fitness? I'll just go through it. The condition of being physically fit and healthy is called as fitness, okay? That's what one study says in the Google. Another one is the quality of being suitable and fulfilling a particular role or the task. This is what the fitness is all about. But Nijimale fitness in the definition, but in general, okay, the word fitness is defined as something much more interesting. I'm going to tell you the definition of the fitness which you will never forget in your life. Challenge. Okay, let's go to it. Right? The fitness is nothing but Okay, so Kachigo, Abdin Solito, Ore, Ertel, and Nikama. If the dog chases, you have to run. If you have an emergency, fire is happening in your place, you should know how to run faster to escape from the fire. If some emergency happens, you should know how to go inside the tunnel and escape your life. And that is called as fitness. And sometime, if required, you have to climb the wall and jump the wall. And that is called as fitness. In the Nali picture, you have to Okay, think about this four picture. You have agility, you have a coordination, you have a balance, you have your power, you have your strength. These are called as a fitness components, nothing else. But just understand something very clear. Fitness is nothing but Nai Torkana Ordu. Savasrona, Savuregri Gudino. Tananula, Povatranjirno. Nirupu, you have to run faster. As simple as that. Basically, the fitness is nothing but the self-defense. Only Arkum, we are getting a six-pack, we are trimmed up, and everything is secondary to make all these activities, all these activities more interesting and better. But understand, this is all about the fitness is more related to a self-defense. That is what the fitness is all about and nothing else okay right here we are going to go with the components of fitness okay there are nearly around six components of fitness which i told you earlier strength endurance strength flexibility agility you have to turn completely again to another direction that's what agility stop turn that's what this agility is all about obviously balance if you want to climb on the wall and go to the other side of the wall Obviously, the balance is required. And again, coordination plays a big role over it. And this is what are called as a six components of fitness when it comes to the category of fitness. Okay, right. We're going to learn about what is the role of physiotherapist here. And there are two categories of people. One is physiotherapist. Another one is sports therapist. Okay. There are a lot of difference between them. The physiotherapist and sports specialized physiotherapist are totally different. We are not into a patronized saying, sir, we can do everything, sir. Okay, we do neurology also, we do cardio also, we do sports also, we do gynec also. Okay, there is something called as a specialization. So when you are specialized in something, narrow down what you want, basically, and understand where you want to get there. So the role of the physiotherapist and the role of the sports physiotherapist is totally different. And that's what, what we are going to see here. The role of the physiotherapist is something to recover somebody from injury, illness, disability, disability in the movement and manipulate with the exercise. And again, a manual therapy to educate them and to advise on what you have to do and what not. This is a basic role of the physiotherapist to maintain the health of the people in all ages. This is a basic role of the physiotherapist. Let's learn about the sports physiotherapist, okay? This, these are something which is very important in terms of sports physiotherapy. For example, you have to educate the client in such a way, sir, if you are entering into this kind of a sport, what and all possible injuries are possible? For instance, I'll give you one example. I am a tennis player. So always I want to whack my ball right to the center because I always swing my arm. Every time when I take it backwards, it's an external rotation. Every time I take it forward, it is an internal rotation and adduction. My pectoral is major, my upper fibers are trapezius, my infraspinatus and lat in my right side, it's going to be very hypertrophy when I compare with the left. And obviously anything which is getting imbalanced obviously end up in injuries. And if it's going to end up in injury, these are things which you have to do. So I'm educating the client, what are the prospective injuries that is possible? And next one is long-term wellness. What I have to do in order to do long-term wellness. And you have to increase the performance of the individual or an athlete. 
So at this time I have run only this timing. Okay, this meters I have run only this timing. I have to cut short my timing. What is the performance activity which I have to do to cut, cut short this performance? And recovery from the injury and the pain issues is what something which we have to focus on. These are the very small role or a big role of a sports physiotherapist entering it, which helps in the diagnosing and treating of any injury or illness which is related to the sports, right? So here, as it is completely the forte of a sports department, and here we are going to learn more related to the anything related to the musculoskeletal and sports injuries, okay? Hard to accept, but that's a fact. Okay, what is that is all about? You know that we physiotherapists, okay, in general, okay, uh, not specifically to anything, but in general, we physiotherapists are very good at treatment. Trust me, we are very good at treatment. But the moment it comes to the another category of called as rehabilitation, we are not so. Okay, right. You saw a picture there. Okay, so on one girl which is holding the band and working on with few exercises. Okay, and she's trying to pull this band and come completely straight. Right from the bending position, she's trying to come straight. Can you tell me which muscle is used there? If you know the answer, on the chat box, quicker, which muscle is used for this activity? Or which muscle is strengthening as this activity is fulfilled? Faster, we don't have time. Quadriceps. I'm seeing your chat box. Keep going, keep going, keep it going. Make it faster so that we can get shot to things and we can think about and take it over. ID band. Okay, lat, abdominal. Okay, when we are extending the trunk, which muscle is used? That's very simple. Hamstring. Latissimus doxy. Calf. Okay, somebody very clay came very close. Okay. Okay, by the end of the session, I'll tell you what it is all about. Okay, so this is what, what is all about. Okay, so see sometimes these kinds of a derivative of exercise which you have to design when you relate it to your rehabilitation. One thing which will help us in order more related to a rehabilitation is nothing but your designing of exercise. Okay, your exercise designing has to be something more relatively. I'm going to tell you a lot of other components how you can design an exercise, how it can be very effective. Okay, see we know that, okay, when you get a PA shoulder, a cotman exercise which is given, the pendular exercises, in the sigur, in the sigur, in the front, back, the abduction, and adduction. Kalam kalama, for long ages, we've been doing only this. Okay, so at the basic acute level, it's fine, but still at the chronic level, we tend to do the same. This is what, what has to be changed. The cotman exercise is good for the, when there is having a terrible pain at the initial stage, but in the complete rehabilitation, how you are going to progress? There are a few exercises, okay. Stick mobilization is there, rope mobilization is there, ball mobilization is there, okay. So, uh, I mean, bouncing activities is there, okay. So, core board mobilization is there. So, like this, all lot of plenty of mobilization activities, which is also used for that. We have to learn for learn, we have to explore, and that's what, what we are going to learn. Another thing which comes to static quadriceps exercise, okay. For everybody, sure, you should have came across is a static quadriceps exercise. See, for assuming that that girl who is doing that exercise. She is a weightlifter. Okay, so sure. she takes a thing squat of around, let's say, 120 kgs, and she goes for the squat and she comes back completely. For some reason, she has got an injury. Okay, and immediately you go for a static quadriceps exercise. You know, nutirvadi kilo ande na na squat pandra or ponna. Ye do kwaada the korake injury aichi. Ande ponna tapalna padithu vechi static quadriceps exercise kuttinga na. Ye puri irko teringla. Kusu kariye vre kamyaar ko the effect will not be there at that particular muscle itself. So you should know for whom you are giving what, and then you have to give. A typical sporting population, you cannot start with a basic static characterization. I do understand that. In acute cases, yes, you can start with that one. But I have seen people two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks also static quadriceps exercise. Yes, I mean, we have to learn a lot of things, and we have to learn a lot of things. And we have to practice a lot of things where we can, that is where we can compete the world. Okay, so, right. And one very important thing in order to get this one, the role of physiotherapist in fitness 
is nothing other than exercise prescription. Okay, there is something called as an exercise prescription. Okay, for instance, I'll make you to understand when we go deeper into it. This is called as exercise prescription definition. The exercise prescription is a basic plan or a program of an activity designed by professionals to enhance the well-being of the patient or a client. Okay, Monet point is Exercise prescription is not enough. A plan or a program which is designed by the professionals to include or for the enhancing the well-being of the patient and the client. As simple as that. Okay, for a client or a enhancement to create for that, or a plan or or program a design for that. Yeah. in terms of fitness. I'll give you an example. When you go to a doctor and when you meet a doctor, the doctor gives you a prescription based on this one. For instance, what is the name of the medicine? Rola 650. What is the dosage? 650. What is the frequency? Before or after food? After the food. Precaution in sir, we should not boost up, we should not smoke, we should not drink before taking the medicine. So there is a precaution which is given. Specific effect or advantages. Yes, if you have a fever, if you have a body pain, if If you have a throat ache, or if you have any body pain or fever, yeah, you can go for paracetamol. Side effects are not. Nariya pora kuda the vile answer varo. It's exactly the all the components of this one is fulfilled when you give a medical prescription. That is what exactly which happens when it comes to a exercise prescriptions. Also, these are the things which you have to take care when you are getting into an exercise prescription. But people miss this without. We knowing all this, you cannot prescribe uh, exercise to the patient because. we are very good at doing treatment but not really in rehabilitation because we get bored in rehabilitation uh 10 naal treatment vaanga sir vali kammi aichu abdina one okay indha or exercise static water strength exercise kanna aichu okay only two exercise which is start so rest of the rest of your life do only this two exercise no it's not like that in 5 years you learn a b c d but till in 15 years also you will learn only a b c d no there is upgrading like that in exercise also there should be something called as upgrading of exercise you cannot do the same right from the day 1 to the day 15 right from the day 1 to the day 7 it will completely vary and that is what what we have to learn okay so the type of exercise for what you are going to give it's going to be walking swimming or cycling what you are going to do that you have to learn specific workload na enna okay whether it's going to be a walking speed or a watts or it's a cadence or it's a step length that you have to know it. duration and frequency whether i have to walk for 15 minutes 20 minutes 25 minutes 30 minutes or 40 minutes while i'm cycling you have to learn that intensity is guideline with your target heart rate for that you have to know how to calculate the maximum heart rate of an individual okay stimulatively with the prescribed exercise or the rate of the intensity also matters with how many times you tell them to do it how many repetition you tell them to do it also matters here and yes precautions of an orthopedician or precautions of any impact or injury which has to be taken care of. because jump squat can be not repeatedly given for the people who have a plate in the fibula or on the tibia like that for any acute injury or any later injury all these will make a huge differences of giving that impact so you should also know the past medical history of the patient any surgery or any impact or any injury before you are prescribing your exercise that's all what we mean right so the benefit and the good oriental it's also is very important you have to tell them what is the benefit of doing this this one and the orientations of the exercise okay if you do this what will happen if i do a lot of plyometric exercises majority will be better agility is better and that is what what we have to explain to them right but in active exercise and you have to keep upgrading that's what i told you and muscular activity see this is very secure protocol first in acute stages do a basic exercise and upgrade your exercise which is very important and monitor the progress if they are cross the step 1 go to step 2 and then to step 3 and then to step 4 if somebody is not able to fulfill the step 2 never take them to step 3 because they will end up in injuries so resistive exercises which has to be done and later has to go with the weight training here in you can see in the lot of this functional activities if on the functional training abhi and rishio on the very recently it's boomed up okay for the last two years it's been boomed up and all the gym has a functional activities you know something the functional activities or the functional training has to be given maximum only for the athletes with the goal of enhancing the performance for instance i'll tell you a golfer okay a golfer stands here and whacks the ball from right to the left okay for him to get the swing better and good harder what and all the training i have to give i can use the tumble i can use your rope i can use the cable in order to do this resistive exercise so that when i am holding the cue 
and whacking it, it is much more easy. Now think about, always my shot is going to be from right to the left, right to the left, right to the left. So when I turn always towards the left, it's a left internal oblique and the right external oblique is going to work. Then what about the left external oblique and the right internal oblique? That is where the body becomes imbalanced and there starts the pain. So most of your training should be in the opposite side. So you have to keep your cable here and you have to train them here so that the body's muscle becomes balanced. Okay, so this is also something which is very, very prescribed by a sports physiotherapist. The role of the physiotherapist in fitness when they are training an individual in terms of sporting population, right? See, what we generally do is we rehabilitate or fitness exercise is given based on the exercises, what you know. Okay, so there is a lot of difference between what is required and what you know. Right, you can tell us all the clients who are in the exercise. And the client is going to be in the requirement. He is going to be in the speed. He is going to be in the jump. He is going to be in the pole vault. He is going to be in the pole vault. That is his basic requirement. Okay, so 21 kilometers of a marathon running have to do sub this level. So that is his requirement. So your exercise should be based on their requirement and not on what you know. Okay, so it's up to you what you know, but it has to be in, should be in a high way so that your requirement goes on, your exercise prescription goes on according to what the requirement is all about. Okay, this is a very short table which tells about the examples of exercise prescription. Okay, so I'm going to take only two to three columns to explain them. I'm not going to go deeper into it. Okay, in Arabic activities, okay, the mode of exercise is Arabic. Okay, they do it for three to five days in a week. How long? 20 to 30 minutes. Intensity, 50 to 85. That is calculated depending upon your heart rate. Okay, increase progression, increase the frequency, duration, and intensity. Initially, you do it for 10 minutes. Later, you do it for 15 minutes. And you will do it three to five times in a week. First, initially start with twice in a week. Then go with three times in a week. Then they go with four times in a week. That's what it's exactly it means. And you are in the strength training, eight to ten exercise twice, twice a day in a week. So one muscle two times in a week is what what you have to do. So if you are building your deltoid muscle weekly twice only, you have to do it. How much? Sixty to eighty percent of the maximum. If you know RM, what is called as a repetitive maximum, you can calculate the sixty-eight to eighty percent of maximum. Most of the people, as a trainer, are also physiotherapists. They don't know what is RM. Okay, you have to calculate the RM for each and every client who enrolls in a fitness center or in a club or in a sporting population or in a team. Because you should have a calendar of what their RM is all about. That is the role of a physiotherapist in fitness. So designing the exercise is a big role. And comes the flexibility and comes the warm up and cool down. They play a big role in terms of everything because this is going to be in this one. Either the activity is going to be aerobic, strength training, flexibility, or warm up or cool down. This is what, what you're going to learn in terms of your exercise prescription. Okay, so that is what it's exactly. So I have three pictures here for you. Okay, in this three picture, something very interesting. Okay, you can see uh, one player is playing a billiards, another player is playing a chess, another player is playing a handball. Okay, now think about what kind of a power the person who is playing a billiard should have. How long an effort which is taken for a chess point to move from year to year. Okay, I can understand that girl who is flying in the air you can see her arm, you can see her thighs, especially the right leg, you can see the vastus medial is oblique and you can feel the quadriceps on the left leg, which is your takeoff leg, which you, you took off. Okay, and the landing leg, which is on the left also, you can find that how much is the muscle is getting into that tone. See, for them, what is basically required is a lot of cardio. Why? Because they have to deal with that pressure when they are working and that. And the third sports of a handball, yes, agility is required. Power is required because you have to hit the ball so forcefully and turns also has to be quick. You have to sprint and you have to pass. You have to have coordination. Everything has to play a big role here. So irrespective of either it's a chest or a billiard or a handball or a rugby or a tennis or it's going to be a cricket, whatsoever, sometime in raising also. Okay, so all this will play a big role when you are getting into that exercise prescription because the exercise has to be pre prescribed according to their requirement, not on what you know. That's very important. What we generally do, okay, so very recent days, Instagram has brought everybody to very close together. We learn exercises from Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, okay, I don't want to mention the name, but a few years back, uh, there was somebody in India uh, started yoga, 
okay before our pm uh, introduced yoga into the country but much before that itself somebody started a yoga in the tv trust me on the next day for me there were many consultations in the clinic you know why because the person who was doing a yoga is an expert in doing a yoga he was taking his leg to put around his neck okay he was taking his leg to put around his neck and he was giving a pose where people were watching in the tv but what happened is many people being at home not doing anything for all these while started doing this they were trying to take the leg and put it around the neck nambu ur koyninga nei koyninga that person has been practicing for such a long time and he is very flexible and been practicing for so many years so he is able to put the leg on the neck but here we sitting eating sitting eating and immediately after seeing somebody you get inspired and you take the leg and put it in the neck and obviously what will happen there are a lot of catches there are a lot of injuries there are a lot of cramps there are a lot of tear that's what has happened so i made my profession so clear over at that point because anything which comes new people are bounded onto it but anything which is not bounded also has to derive and you have to practice there are few points which you have to discuss when you want to learn some things from the youtube sir how to upgrade us yes sir you have to learn from the different part of the people at different across the world okay so in youtube you have a lot of things in instagram you can see a lot of things i also see few exercises in instagram okay but immediately if i see the exercise i will not bombard and get into the exercise but what i do is i do these things i also want you to do that okay first to practice them okay so apply the components of exercise prescription there okay first to practice the moment when you see apre paathir poi street ta you should not give exercises you should be very careful in prescribing exercises with the people so practice them which is very important and observe and get the right form of doing it observe the exercise twice thrice four times observe and get the right form what is this leg movement what is this hand movement how he is derive what was the first movement what was the later movement you have to know it feel exercise you should exercise sports when you prescribe an exercise in the group you where it is effective when i do a push up you should tell them you have to feel the effect in the chest because many of them in the push up they will feel the effect in the room watch because they were squeezing because of letting the gravity to go in but the going a push up is for the pectoral is major and pectoral is minor but the effect goes to the rhomboids that is something which is wrong that is also something taken into consideration feel the muscle and get the transform due to their exercise what is the transformation you will get after doing this exercise what are all the errors which is possible what are all the contraindications what are all the indications which is required what are the precautions i have to take these are something which is very important to know when you start with exercise okay when designing this big exercises or anything like that you don't need quite big big machines you don't require big machines at all you require something very simple for example you can see in the list here okay <clears throat> you can you need a stick you need a water bottle you need a ping pong ball the table tennis hard only yeah and the ping pong ball you need a rope you need a simple tire and small hammer a small ladder and small brick will also can give you a this effect of exercise okay see exercise all about okay with what you have no it is so not i have learned from the dina jana what i have learned from the caroline kushner okay these are not they are just fundamental but exercise are something which has to be designed according to the creativity okay let's say for instance i have a remote with me so okay i have my telephone remote with me with this remote i have to design five exercises possible possible but the only thing is you should know what is the basic fundamental of giving those exercises and you have to work according if you are able to do that this is also is very easy okay so last but not least idella mandrathukku or fundamental or vishayam venum okay what is that it is very simple walk the talk appo na enna appadina neenga solrathukku munadi first neenga pannano okay that is what people have to practice i see physiotherapist coming for treatment i see a lot of physiotherapists coming for treatment i had many physiotherapists come for treatment for their back pain for their neck pain for their shoulder pain where are they heading walk the talk 
you have to be fit to tell somebody that you have to be fit okay ninga fit a irundha mattum dhaan innothra vandu fit a irunga appdi solla mudiyume thavara ninga fit a illa na innothra ninga fit a irunga solla mudiyadhu are easy a solla poiduvaru okay you cannot do that but they will very simply they will tell you so you be fit and then you can tell me how to why do i should be fit so walk the talk is very important when it comes to physiotherapists yes exercise is mandatory for physiotherapists on a every day basis if your bmi is high reduce your bmi if your waist level is bigger reduce it okay right so it's all about how you walk and how you talk matters a lot okay i have a vision okay <laughs> towards the knowledge of fitness people have to know the knowledge in these areas also okay sometimes people ask sir what is the nutrition which i have to take it when i want to reduce my weight or when i want to increase my weight or increase my power stamina we don't have any idea because our subject doesn't teach us that but what is stopping us to learn nothing there are so much of knowledge across the world that's what what you have to learn what is the gears of fitness what are all the things which is used to me for me to develop the fitness that you have to know what are the equipments if for example when i say when i say a word called as king squat sir when i am doing a free squat i don't have a problem but when i do a free uh, king squat i have a problem in the median side of the knee joint it pains badly sir first you should know what is king squat so these equipments and these jargons has to be learned from you what is king squat what is incline bench press what is decline bench press what is burpees all this word what is called as jumping jacks all these are something which you have to learn there is nobody stopping you for learning this it's that you don't want to learn and more increase this knowledge in this area you can find an expert there okay the style of exercise which has to be learned supplements okay everybody think that okay these supplements are something which is always harm and always something which should not be taken no see according to the requirement the supplements are given see for instance a weight lifter in our country who won a medal also takes supplements okay then athlete they take supplements okay sporting population they take supplements what is the supplement bone vita boost to all itself we would have drank then what that is supplements a mother who doesn't lactate up enough enough of milk in her breast for feeding the child they give start with the non okay serlac farax what is that supplement okay so when the baby is comfortable by having a supplement and people say you can give it to them there is something also where the supplement also has to be taken but you should know how much to take how to take and when to take okay so idea about the supplements is also is very important for you to know because anabolic steroids to increase because bodybuilders is one area which other people don't want to get in but that's a beautiful area where you will learn a lot of things of lot of exercises as well as on supplements okay learn increase your knowledge there nothing wrong about it when shoes very very recently i i spoke in a instagram live last week before week about shoes there are six 10 components of how to choose a shoe okay go to my page and then you can see i can see about the shoes okay so the time table okay we should know when to do what okay morning evening afternoon okay monsoon okay winter summer all these areas also you should have a knowledge because that is where the role of physiotherapist also plays in fitness okay and the past history of a client is very important when you start working because if a patient is going to be in a cardiac patient and if you are getting him into a lot of cardiac activity and things goes wrong again little bit of an um, problem is existing there so you should know the history of the patient completely before you take the patient okay so that is something which is very important which you have to know basically for the complete crux it's just to understand the role of the physiotherapist in fitness is exercise prescription okay learn the exercise from different medium i am not telling you no but ensure that learning of the exercise should be practiced by you and get a expert in doing that and then give it to them and that is what what you are going to learn that okay so this is our thank you so much for this opportunity for nanda college for sharing this small knowledge with me you can get in touch with us with these areas on instagram is frank underscore sports physio and this coming sunday i'm just giving you a live program on how your furniture should be your chair and sofa should be <coughs> if you want you can join there any time i am just through the phone okay you can just uh, text me i'm not a call guy you can text me or however you want so that we can take it forward and do it thank you so much for being there i'm ready for the questions any questions i'm good to go for <laughs> any question so um, i don't know what the name of the man ah 
jaane ki generally ma'am will help me with the questions or if you have questions also you can type in your chat box uh any questions yes i'm ready to answer this question related to musculoskeletal and sports injuries okay right so wow. someone has you have asked one question in the beginning right they are yeah. asking for the answer for the question <laughs> no what was the question oh okay okay that's yeah, right okay the lady, the lady the lady yeah, 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 yeah. that's one that's one okay that is a specific exercise which is given for a lot of jumping activities and that is basically for the gluteus maximus okay one person has answered it right so round of applause so it's for the gluteus maximus single leg activity because from flexion you pull and give a resistance to that okay when the knee is bending and opening up only it comes to the hamstring okay so deadlift is basically in that one if it is from down to up it's hamstring but rather it is from front to back and it is only an extension of your pelvis or extension of your hip that works with the gluteus maximus okay any questions so i can go ahead with that anything related to uh, sports injuries or sports medicine okay everybody is keen with the e certificate okay <clears throat> okay so as i was just telling you you have to increase we as a student as well as a practicing physiotherapist okay never get concerned with what you know okay so you have to actually dream big the profession is something which is very huge and you have to dream big for example in the last four months of being at home okay um the college is not there or the if at all there is a class it's only for two hours from nine o'clock to twelve o'clock and rest of the other other sessions i am free okay i'll tell you something very interesting if the four months if you would have used it properly and if you would have learned at least three techniques which you can apply to a patient you made your holiday very useful you should have not applied your knowledge and your time to learn something you have wasted your four months that's 120 days you have wasted because in synergy we have designed a lot of projects okay in this four months and there are two workshops which was done online itself okay why i say you this see it's simply as like this you have to start thinking about what you do with what you can what you have matters a lot okay so what you do with what you have matters a lot you have a phone you have a internet connection into it or you have a book of anatomy you have a book of biomechanics go through it learn by now you should have finished the special test of the maggi okkand padichirundho abindha na kandipa adu mudichundirukalam okay yeah no there is no pressure of getting past now now it is only reading like a story book you can enjoy read it you have a sibling test them on them dermatome and myotome can be drawn on them learn it that four months to three months you should have used for your knowledge to get increased if you you're not done that it's not too late okay so start doing it now also where you can increase your knowledge at this pandemic situation also see if you would have survived in this situation of anything is shut everything is shut when you are able to survive in the situation you can survive in any situation you are unstoppable but kalangala prosana pattikkonga அது ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ரைட்டா சோ இருக்கிற இந்த டைம பிரோஜன படுத்திட்டீங்க அப்படினா உங்களுக்கு நல்லது ஓகே ஏதோ ஒரு கேள்வி இருக்கு பாப்போம் ஓகே சோ देयर இஸ் a question in chat box yes ma'am கேளுங்க ஜெனிங்க நான் பாக்க நான் பாக்க முடியல patient complains of night pain in the shoulder only he is not having no pain in morning could you give us yes. why this nocturnal pain is seen okay well i am not seeing the pain important but as a sports medicinist i would rather say and musculoskeletal specialist i would rather say start checking their latissimus dorsi see because when the latissimus dorsi gets into the shortest position the people have a pain in the shoulder especially in the front area or this circle of area when they are lying supine because this rolls down the latissimus dorsi goes to the shortest position okay if your question is going to be only in supine lying that stands up if it's going to be in side lying yes you should also work on with your medial rotators as well as on your adductors that is also a muscle which has to be worked which has to be released and which has to be stretched patient pata enna precise ah solam but you take a kel week na solukka the blunt ah answer so another question 
okay um, uh, sir if a player is right handed as you told we practice okay. on right side if we okay. train both side it may end up in reduced performance in right side or not sir no it will not increase it will not reduce the performance see in sport you can see a lot of cricketers when they show me in the channels okay in the nariya tv channel la paakumbodhu you can see them they will play volleyball they will play football because everything is based on their game when they play for football they have to running between the wickets all these sports are designed in such a way that in the normal performance also it will increase here what i was talking about the balancing of the body okay see what happens is typically a right bat bitten player right hand bat bitten player in national level you can feel the shoulder is here okay now i am not telling you that this shoulder has is already here because he's right handed you should not bring this shoulder here actually in the rendu kaiyum vithukilama abbi kadaya adu kelvi idha stretch panni adu vechittu adu maintain pandrathukku enna pannu and when you are on the opposite side it is not the instance if you are taking 100 shots in the right side it's only 20 to 25 shots you take it in the left but it is not a shot but it is a training okay you have no stability there you will do training but hit the ball not use the left hand to hit the ball no that is not the question there is no way the performance is going to increase you are trying to make the musculoskeletal balance in the left hand side what you are doing is just a training in the right hand side is what the practice is all about but this kind of a scenario will not hinder the practice at all right any sir. next question yes sir next question what is the thought about the subcontinent athlete fitness comparing to others and any specific consideration regarding the comparison there are a lot of people regarding this comparison see for example if you take into an african genetics okay they are genetically very strong that's where you can feel that the chris gale okay a cricketer okay west indies oh he hits a six 130 meters down the track the ball goes away from the stadium okay number la very few will hit that six if you get get the right ball but that guy can hit literally but running between the wickets if he runs three times three runs he is done the genetic plays a big role where you call it as a fast twitch muscle fibers and slow twitch muscle fibers genetically yes and the continental wise the athlete differ that's why when we travel with the team where you are going what you are going and which kind of a people or the open in time what you get in that country what is the climate what is the food habit where you will read about this one in the sports physiotherapy okay in your normal subjects so that will play a big role because the knowledge has to be increased based on that one yes there is a huge difference in comparison when it comes to a continental wise so next question how to select the perfect manner of doing exercises is there any criteria for the selection like posture stabilization okay see there are a lot of components related to fitness and it is a very vague topic okay say yes at least panna arminga okay that is a one day request okay start doing some exercise or the worst exercise which you can ever do is not doing okay at least to do something where you can find that the component of exercise is getting fulfilled there start from there okay and yes there are few criteria to select the sessions okay if you're going to do a cardio if you're going to do your strength training if you do a muscle training depending upon what is the requirement is all about you should go based on what is your requirement is all about as we is a swimmer the weight in the body should not increase we should look thin but the flap of the latissimus dorsi when he is pulling back has to be so strong so depending upon that he is a breaststroke person and what has to be increased he is a freestyle what has to be increased everything will vary according when you are uh, getting into this exercise and the criteria of the exercise also varies according to the sport so the next question mm-hmm. yeah. sir you have mentioned intensity in percentage in exercise prescription it is little yeah. difficult to understand can i get more explanation about it okay see the intensity of the exercise is something see for example if i am asking you you are a beginner for doing an exercise okay and if i am going to give you a jumping jacks okay jumping jacks is nothing but okay so this exercise is called as jumping jacks so if i am going to give you a jumping jack exercise for 2 minutes continuously which we give it for the normal runners you are gas out okay in the next 15 minutes you are gas out that's called as high intensity that's why there is a session which is called as a high intensity interval trainings we call it as hiit lot of gyms you can see in the banner itself they have put hiit trainer it means high intensity interval training because the intensity is so high a normal beginner cannot go inside if you get in you get injured you will not be able to go up 
So start with something very fundamental and then go to the second step, third step. And then say, for instance, if you are a person who wants to run 10 kilometers, when you come to me asking me a suggestion, sir, I want to run 10 kilometers, I'll give you one year of time. Where you have to start, I will tell you, next 10 days, you have to only walk. Walk how many kilometers? Two kilometers to three kilometers for the next 10 days. Your muscle has to get used to it. Now that's a low intensity. And then after they finish the 10 days, again, the protocol will change. And after one month or two months, we will say one minute run, 30 seconds walk. One minute run, 30 seconds walk. Or 30 seconds run, one minute walk. The interval changes. That's called as interval trainings. Like that, slowly the endurance of your pumping also should be enhanced so that you will be able to achieve the 10 kilometers at least six, seven months time. You'll be able to do that. This is something very professionally taking forward. That's, so what, that's what, what I mean in the intensity. Yeah. So there are a few more questions in question and answer section. Can you able to say it, sir? No problem, man. Go ahead. I can do for another 10 minutes. No, no. Swelling after ACL reconstruction surgery and what could be the reasons and why? See, ACL reconstruction surgery, one of the major swelling on the knee or in the calf or in the foot is a question there. Okay, but the, I don't think whether it's mentioned there or not. If it's going to be there on the foot level, it is means that the calf muscle is getting tighter. You have to start working on the calf muscle. If it's going to be on the knee level, okay, so any soft tissue which gets into an injury or an impact, it takes at least three to four months of the swelling to go down because of synovial fluid disturbance. Okay, so whatever you do, you'll, there will be a swelling. And very, very gradually when you start training, the muscle pumps, the perfusions of the blood, when they get into an increasing, automatically the slowly swelling goes down. Okay, so slowly. it's not only for the ACL, for any soft tissue injury. If your ankle gets twisted also, it, the ankle twist will get all right in five to six days, so maximum 10 days. The kind of a protocol what you're doing in terms of treatment, but the swelling will be there at least for 12 to 30 or 12 to 15 weeks. The swelling will be there. So it's like that. Of any soft tissue, the sign of fluid disturbance. So next question. Yes. Uh, should we consider Vivo to Max while prescribing exercise for sports person? Uh, Vivo Max? Yeah. Vivo to Max. Okay. See, Vivo to Max, yes, you have to prescribe the exercise prescriptions, but uh, indicating a banana, normal protocol and the local and the follow up under the left. The paper wrote a study for your study sir, for your me, project. Sir. Yeah, so, excuse me, sir. Uh, the answer have to be in English because in English. Uh, many of the students are in uh, from Bangladesh. Okay, so see, the answer is very simple. Okay, so we the Vivo to Max is something which has been taken only for the paper wise, in terms like for your theory, for your study, your research, your work. But if you take it as a protocol based, okay not really which is taken but yes oxygen perfusion is very important when you want to boost something and start working onto it but yes the perfusion is something varies with according to individual to individual gender race and the continent as well so it takes it raised completely it's a different topic okay so if then down the line when things are good i'll take that specific topic so another one question sir okay. How could we manage yes. post-operative OA problems with ACL reconstruction surgery? Post-operative OA with the ACL reconstruction surgery. Yes, okay, sir. see, why is that OA is happening after the reconstruction surgery of the ACL? Okay, see, because um, the, the patient is not guided properly. Okay, not necessary that all the patient who is getting into an ACL reconstruction surgery ends up with OA. Actually, the question itself is something which is blunt and should be derived in a very right way because... Uh, here we uh, rehabilitate a lot of ACL cases, but the end people, like say 18, 19, sometime you get a 40, 45 without surgery also, but not necessary that it has to end up in a OA needs. Okay, Tom, not necessary. Okay. Next question, sir. Yeah. What could be effect of fitness on the person undergoing gym than those not? What is the at least walk? Okay, see, one thing which can help you in terms of now at this current scenario is walk because there is no other gyms here. Okay, and freehand exercises. You can do basic free exercises. Do the increasing the repetition. Increase your repetition and have a less resistance. For example, with half a liter bottle, do it for 15 times, 20 times, depending upon how you want to do it. So that is also will make huge differences when you want to do it. Start something very fundamental and then go on the top. Okay, never get straight there. And uh, that's the way you end up in injuries. A few more questions are there. Yeah. Uh, one uh, one person have said like there were the pa patient is having ACL injury one year back. No surgery, sir. 
Now he feels knee instability while trying to catch a ball during fielding and a twist in knee when he loads in single leg while bowling. I don't know whether it is uh, okay. Um, no, okay, fine. See, it's very simple. Uh, at the first time when he gets an uh, ACL injury itself, the rehabilitation part is very important when you want to rehabilitate the person. Okay, it means that the quadriceps is not intact. Okay, the quadriceps, the calf muscle is not intact. That's why he has been getting the second time buckling itself. Okay, when he was catching the ball, he was had a knee loading and twisted again because the quadriceps, the IT, the calf muscle is not so strong. That's why the rehabilitation has to be designed properly. If we can design the rehabilitation proper, things will be much more easy. Right. Another one question, sir. Okay. Uh, can you clear about role of sports physiotherapist in improving performance in a sporting population? What could be the difference between us and trainer who also doing the same performance training? Okay. See, you know a science behind. You know the origin and insertion of a muscle. Okay. And uh, blankly, what they do is they do with a lot of experience because I'm not training the player, training the blaming the trainers because I have learned a lot of things personally from my trainer. Okay. Because in my subject, it was not sold me. Okay. And I can tell you this. Okay. And I end up R and R and I have learned many things from the trainers. Either it's going to be a weight training or if it's going to be an agility training or if it's going to be a power lifting. Whatsoever, I have learned many things from the trainer. It's not about the comparison of you big or he big. No, it's an ego. Okay. Here, it's everybody's working together. Because when you get into a team, the trainer is Hello? there. Okay. The nutrition is there. I can hear you, sir. Uh, the trainer is there. The nutrition is there. Okay, so the physician, yeah, the physician is also there. Okay, the physiotherapist is also there, and the team manager is also there. Everybody has to work together. There is no comparison. If you don't know anything, learn from them. If they don't know anything, you teach them. There is no comparison here for how you are going to work there. That's how it is. Um, uh, we can take two more questions. Yes, sir. One, one, only one question is left, sir. Good. Uh, what type of muscle stretch is used hello. to reduce? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Is this? Hello. hello? Sorry, sir. Yeah. I'm in hello. No problem. What type of muscle stretch is used to reduce the low back ache of young girls? What is that? Young girls. <laughs> Age of okay. twenty to so, twenty-five. <laughs> One girl have typed the question. Actually, Ah, uh, Yana, yeah, from the experience uh, you are sharing it here, I mean, your own uh, protocol has been shared here. That's what I can understand from the question. See, it's not about the age which is matters. It's all about, uh, this is a very common problem where people have facing after the lockdown. Okay, what has happened is there is a too much of sitting in one place. The hamstring gets shorter. Okay, the hamstring muscle which gets shorter is the one which is taking the people into a toss, which is causing a loss of problem because, as you know, the hamstring origins from the ischial fibrosity. Okay. When the hamstring is tight, your pelvic shifts posteriorly and that can cause a severe pain on the lower back like a belt. So just opening up the hamstring, the ischial fibrosity is relieved so that your lumbar lordosis is kept in the lordosis itself. It is not obliterated. This is something which is a very common injury which we are facing after the lockdown with many people. Okay, so stretch your hamstring. But you have to do it very slowly, very gently. If you are going to do it, it may end up in a soreness. So be careful while you're doing that. Right. Any other questions? Sir, so two more questions are there. Shall we go or else like we'll wind up, sir? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, man. Two more questions. Sir. What do you think about the effect of effleurage in sports person? Does that improve the performance of a person? Okay. See, um, again, uh, hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Sir, are you there? Hello. Hello. Hello.
sorry for the interruption hello sir are you there मैम हेलो हेलो हां मैम मैंने केक दूं उंगली केक दो हां केक दो सर एना छे डिस्कनेक्ट है सर इन एरिया ला करंट कट ओके एनीवे ओके ओके फाइन 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 सर कंटिन्यू बन ला मा सर या या द टू क्वेश्चंस विल फिनिश ऑफ या एंड द टू क्वेश्चंस विल फिनिश ऑफ ओके सर So, what about cupping therapy to a sports person? Will it help them out? See, um, all the techniques, yes. Obviously, they help with a lot of sporting population. But you have to understand very thing. Now, even uh, in the beginning of the session, I just told you something. Any technique you learn, okay, that acute pain, if you are able to reduce ten percent, do whatever you want. Okay. So there are a lot of techniques in terms of stretches, in terms of kneading, okay, KFI. Taping technique, anything. But the only thing which you have to learn is very simple: that you have to make somebody really at least ten percent of a swing, and that's what what you have to do. It it is effective. It's very effective. We use in a lot of sporting because I think I remember last time US was completely using uh, for their Olympics people on completely only on the te- uh, cupping technique just to increase the bed circulation there and the localized area to avoid soreness. Right. Last question. One second. Uh, whether more than two hours of workout per day can cause any problems in future exercises like squat, lunges, plank, and jump squats, etc. See, uh, you, all your exercises which you have mentioned here is all about doing with quadriceps. Okay, uh, you can go in one muscle. Okay, what I mean is in deltoid there will be ten exercises. Okay, and if you say like you know if it's going to be a lat, there will be another ten exercises. And quadriceps there will be ten exercises. So on the two muscles, if you are going to work. With minimum of around eight eight exercises on different variations, well, it will get you to two hours, almost like one to one and a half hours. It will get you, and you don't have a gas or you don't have an energy to go beyond that. Okay, so that is something which is very derivative, and uh, two exercise in the one twice in a week is much more important because two exercise in a day is what what we train the athletes, and that is much more better than. Another. So one more question is there, sir. Yeah. Tell me. a uh, patient having wrist pain while push up like exercises by weight is transferred but have full range of motion and no complaint of pain while doing other movements what can be prescribed okay um ma'am if you don't mind can you repeat the question so patient is having wrist pain while mm. doing uh, exercises like push up where mm. weight is transferred but having full range of motion and no complaint of pain okay um while doing i don't know other movements right it's beautiful okay this question is something which i saw a patient uh, day before yesterday okay uh if you know how to release your brachioradialis okay i'll repeat okay if you know how to release the muscle of brachioradialis start doing immediately you will find that the wrist pain over there will be much lesser so the wrist pain will be there of much lesser when you start releasing the brachioradialis muscle itself right thank you so much Yeah, sir. Thank you so much for your uh, answering session. Thank you so much, sir. Thank Now you. I'll, Thank uh, you. Uh, welcome, uh, Lognathan, sir, HOD Sports Department, to deliver the vote of thanks. Lognathan, sir.
sorry sir there was a problem in connecting with our hod so i'll deliver the vote of thanks sir so first i thank uh, today's uh, session chief guest uh, dr suresh thanklin <clears throat> for his wonderful webinar and a great uh, question answer session with him thank you sir for your time next i thank our principal for uh, for helping us to organize this webinar dr v manivanan sir for this for his continuous support next i thank or thank my hod dr t lognathan for his uh, uh, continuing support for conducting this kind of webinar and uh, gopal uh, for supporting us and i thank other department hod's and other faculties and students and alumni and clinicians academicians and students from bangladesh i thank you one and all for joining with us thank you so much for joining this session thank you again thank you so much it was a great being with you people and great interaction thank you so much thank you guys so much thank you so much take care thank Bye -bye. you sir thank you sir for your time thank you thank you so much it was a wonderful thank you so much. webinar presented by you thank you thank you thank you so much take care bye thank you sir